So I've just come off the call for the last meeting. Um, basically, uh, I need a vote off everyone about severance pay in our contracts. Um, so once um, you've heard a few of the things that have happened in it, um, I just need a yes or a no from everyone. Um, I'll explain it in this now. Basically, uh, the government guidance on the May, May 7th, when they talk about the lockdown, that's when we're going to sort of be dictating when we come back in and what they say based off what the government think. Uh, the chief executive of the EFL said it'd be very optimistic for us to even be playing games in June. So he doesn't really think we'll be we'll be playing games then. Um, Gary Neville and one of the other club owners is not, uh, doesn't even think we'll be playing anywhere near then. Um, definitely won't be playing games with any fans that's come from the, the EFL this year, they don't think. Um, be looking at January 2021 unless a cure pops up. Um They'd need 66,000 tests for us to finish the season this year. Uh, bearing in mind the NHS are struggling for tests and general people are struggling up to now for tests. From a PR point of view, I don't think any of the, the football bosses could sell players needing to finish a season with that many tests. So unless that changes drastically, they're talking about um, us not getting the season finished and the season being decided on sporting merit. So three promotions from every league. Um, so the Premiership would have another three clubs and filtered down the pyramid. Uh, no relegations, and then that would obviously have to be absorbed the season after. So there'd be more relegations, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, the owners of football clubs have got to have a duty, or they've got a contract, or legally have to provide a uh, safe working environment for their employees. And if we are still being told to social distance, how we can run around uh, and tackle and what have you, everything to play football when you're meant to be social distancing unless we're doing weekly tests of clubs. Uh, a lot of people on the call can't even see the season finishing, so who knows what will happen there. The most important thing uh, is that they say that the player welfare is the priority and one of the most important things is the contract situation. Legally, they can't enforce clubs to extend our contracts, so if people are out of contract on June 30th, technically you'd get your July severance pay. Legally, they can't enforce it. FIFA are going to be releasing something advising clubs to do that, but the general consensus from clubs now is that they've told the EFL they won't be paying players um, extra or extending contracts because they can't afford to do it. Um, whether that becomes a full blanket agreement or it's done individually, I don't know, but I'd imagine it'll be one or the other. Um, it would be one or the other in terms of all clubs will do it or they won't. Um, it won't be done individually because... Some clubs won't be able to play. Um, the issue is with the severance pay. If our season was to be done in and, and go into July, if you are out of contract, and obviously this doesn't apply to some lads because they're out, they've got a contract for next year anyway. If you are out of contract and our season ran into July, and we knew our contracts won't be extending, would you be prepared to play through July, knowing you wouldn't be paid severance pay for the month of August? Um, and would you be prepared to play knowing you weren't getting another contract for next year? Um, obviously, our severance pay when our contracts run out in June is for the month of July. And it's there to protect you in case you don't get another club um, for the next season. So uh, if you were playing throughout July and you knew you'd finish in July, end of July and then from first week in August, you weren't um, going to be compensated by the club. Would you be prepared to play? They want to know roughly figures of, of um, lads, yes or no, so they can take it back to the clubs and basically inform them because a lot of the clubs have categorically said they will not pay past that. So don't know what ours have said, but some of the uh, club owners on the call have said they categorically will not pay that. But if a lot of the players have said they won't play, then maybe that will force the hand. Don't know, but I just need to just need to get a vote in of what everyone thinks. So just stick uh, yes or no 